Hello everyone, it's Massimone here with another walkthrough for uh, my, my mod, Things The Fox's Den. Um, today, uh, we are doing the quest um, Rumors Abound, which is my new beginner quest um, for accessing my mod. Originally, I had uh, another quest called uh, The Fox's Legacy uh, in order for you to access the home. However, it was uh, much more difficult to obtain. Um, you had to complete under new management and become the Thieves Guild leader uh, in order for you to even begin access to that quest. So <clears throat> after a little bit of uh, review I've decided to add a completely new area and a new little mini storyline to try and uh, try and get people into the house sooner. Uh, this is my character Zenitar which I just started a few minutes ago. Um, basically he has completed um, going through Helgen and that's it. Um, so to start the quest off you begin in Riverwood and we're gonna go to the Sleeping Giant Inn which is where we pick up the key item or the first item I should say. Now once you get inside the inn, uh, first thing you want to do is you want to go to uh, the second door on your left. Uh, you don't have to rent the room to do this, but uh, the book that you want is right there. It's called the Scholar's Journal. And as you see, it, it initiates rumors abound. Now this is basically the scholar talking about um, the Grey Fox making it to Skyrim and what he could have possibly done um, while he was here. Um, he does some investigation and finds out that there's a rumor that he actually had a network of tunnels throughout Skyrim uh, for his smuggling operation that he had going on. Um, but he lost the note that is his uh, evidence about where to, uh, where to locate this uh, on the path between Helgen and, and Riverwood. So we got to help him find it. So we're going to exit here. Alright, now once we're outside we want to go to our journal and we're gonna click on this so we can find the marker easily. Uh, that's not the one on your right, that's for the starting quest uh, for the storyline of the game. Uh, so we're gonna run up this way. I do have God Mode on right now just because I don't feel like uh, waiting for uh, stamina to return. So we're just gonna run, run as fast as we can because we don't have a horse yet. And we're going to follow this path because the scholar lost the notes somewhere along this pathway. There are some other mods up near where the entrance to my mod is, but they do not interfere as far as I know. They do not interfere with, uh, with my mod at all. So uh, mods like um, uh, Lakeview Manor and uh, the Asteria are both completely safe. Alright, so we found the note and uh, it basically just gives you directions on to where uh, the entrance to my mod is and uh, where the key is located. So we're going to take that and we're going to start running towards Lake Illinata. Now as you can see on my map here, um, the place that we're going to is right here, which is uh, the secret tunnels that we're looking for. Right about here is where um, South Brittleshin passes, and if you had the Asteria mod, it would be about there, um, just to give you an idea where it is. Okay, so now we're coming up on the old farmhouse that was described in the note. Um, and there's normally two monsters that spawn around here somewhere, which I'm not seeing, so that's okay. Uh, anyways, you're going to want to search the hollowed out rock, um, which is right beside the stairs, which was in the note. And we're going to go and find the entrance to the smuggler tunnel, which is right here. And we're going to enter here. Okay, now once inside the mod, you got to cut through the old spider webs, because, well, you know, it's an old tunnel and uh, activate this lever. And there's rats, which you gotta do. Uh, 
And one more for good measure. And uh, as you can see, the, the, the tunnels have been flooded somewhat. And uh, if you want to get rid of that, you can actually go over here and click the drainage control valve, which will drain away all the water so you can go and explore through, you know, uh, old contraband that, that the smugglers would have had. There's also another uh, section in here which uh, you can find if you explore the house later on. Um, but to complete the quest, you have to look at this warning notice and uh, then just pick the lock. Now the lock is um, leveled, so if you got a higher level character it's going to be harder, but the idea is still the same. And once you get inside the house, um, all you got to do is just push this button and uh, voila, you're inside the, the mod. Um, now going in this way is uh, activates the beginner uh, mode of, of my mod and basically the difference between beginner and the advanced version is that um, I've just initially disabled some armor that would be overpowered a couple items that are a little bit overpowered cough skeleton key um, and uh, you can you can obtain those by completing um, the Fox's legacy um, quest and becoming the Thieves Guild leader. Uh, if you already managed to get into the house, which I don't think anyone did because I kind of forgot to put in the uh, the script um, for the quests in my first uh, version. <laughs> yeah, beginner. Sorry. Anyways, um, yeah, it's uh, it's completely backwards compatible and friendly. You won't lose anything. So I hope this helps and uh, thank you for looking into my mod and uh, enjoy. Don't forget to like if you if this is helpful. Thank you uh, and. Talk to you next time.